Okay, uh, we're going to do a couple of examples on body plot. So let's do our first one here. Uh, we want to create a body plot for h equals j omega over 10 divided by 1 plus j omega over 100. Okay, this is the body plot we want to create. In order to do this body plot, we're going to uh, break this complex transfer function or somewhat complex transfer function into a much simpler combination of transfer functions. Okay, so we'll write this as j omega over 10 times 1 over 1 plus j omega over 100. Okay. Now with practice, you'll realize that this transfer function belongs to a low-pass filter. But for now, we won't make any such assumption. So here's uh, my two transfer functions. And uh, and we'll call this transfer function h1 and we'll call this transfer function h2. So we have h equals h1 times h2. Okay. So h1 is j omega over 10. Take the magnitude of h1. Magnitude of h1 is simply omega over 10. 10. Let's take the 20 log of h1 since uh, that's what a body plot magnitude plot is. Body magnitude plot is a plot of 20 log base 10 of the magnitude of the transfer function. So if we take the right now, since this side is log of a over b, we can write this as 20 log base 10 of omega minus 20 log base 10 of 10. Well, log 10 of 10 is 1. So we can rewrite this as 20 log base 10 of omega minus 20 times this quantity is 1. Now let's focus on what we are really trying to accomplish here. We're trying to get a magnitude plot, which is a plot of log base 10, a magnitude of h1 times 20. So if I look at my body plot, what am I really plotting? I'm plotting the magnitude plot right here, magnitude in decibel versus frequency here. Let's call this frequency 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4, and 10 to the power 5. The x-axis is log base omega. And the y-axis is 20 log base 10 of h y axis 20 log base 10 of h and the unit is decibel and the x axis is omega plotted on a logarithmic scale let's go back here what do we see we see that this is our y that's our y that is our x so here's a linear expression, y equals mx, y is equal to m times x where m is 20, and a y-intercept of minus 20. So that's c. So what we have here, for the magnitude plot of h1, we have on this right here, we have a straight line, y equals mx plus c, straight line with a y-intercept of minus 20. Okay, so y-intercept of minus 20 and a straight line up. Okay, so I'm going to tr try to draw a straight line through all these dotted lines. So that is my magnitude plot for h1. So that's my magnitude plot for h1. Okay, now let's go back magnitude plot for h1 well that was magnitude of h1 well how about the angle of h1 what's the angle of h1 well h1 is simply j omega over 10 so there is no real number it's purely on the imaginary axis hence the angle is 90 degrees so in my plot for 
So in my plot for the phase angle, for plot for phase angle through all values of omega, I'm going to stay straight at 90 degrees. So that's my angle of H1 through all values of omega. Now let's go take a look at H2. So in our original expression, we are taken H and broken it down into H1 and H2. What is H2? H2 is 1 over 1 plus J omega over 100. Well, what's the magnitude of this? Magnitude of H2 equals square root of 1 over 1 plus omega over 100 square. 20 log. Let's take the 20 log of H2 and we get 20 log base 10 of You can rewrite this as 20 log base 10 of 1 minus 20 log base 10 of 1 plus omega over 100 square the whole thing to the power 1 half because of the square root. Okay. Now this goes to 0. So we're left with minus 20 log base 10 1 plus omega over 100 square by the way that's that well the 1 half log of e to the power n equals n log a so log of e to the power half is 1 half times log a so we have minus 10 log base 10 1 plus omega over 100 square okay that's our magnitude so let's see how about the angle angle of h2 simply is the angle of the top minus the angle of the bottom what's the angle of the top so it's a real number, so it's zero degrees. Angle of the bottom is arc tangent of omega over 100 divided by 1. In other words, it's simply minus arc tangent of omega over 100. Now, how do we come up with a plot for H2? What we're going to do is basically look at what happens to H2 at different uh, values of omega. So here's our the magnitude of H2. Uh, so we had magnitude of H2 to 20 log okay well let's put in omega equals so let's have let's see what happens for different values of omega 100 a decade before that a decade after that well when omega equals 100 what happens to the magnitude well 100 100 divided by 100 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 we're going to come up with an approximate value here so Taking log of 2 requires using a calculator. So we'll just approximate that whole thing as being 1. So 1 plus 1. Log of 2 and log of 1 are somewhat similar. So log of 1 is 0. So if we can say that when omega equals 100, the magnitude is approximately equal to 0 dB. What happens when magnitude is 1000, a decade after? Well, for a decade after, 1000 divided by 100, that's 10. 10 squared is 100. 100 plus 1 is approximately equal to 100. 
because it's easier to take the log of 100. Log of 100 is 2. 2 times minus 10, minus 20 dB. Let's see what happens if it's 10,000. Well, 10,000 divided by 100 is 100. Square that, 10,000. 10,000 plus 1, uh, approximately 10,000. Take the log of that, 4. 4 times minus 10, minus 40. Similarly, let's go take it before that, when omega equals 10. 10 divided by 100, 1 tenth. You square that, 100. Compared to 1, that's very small, so ignore that. So log of 1 is 0 dB. You'll similarly find at 1, we'll have 0 dB. So in the magnitude plot for H2, we basically have okay, at 10 to the power 0, 0 dB. All the way up to, so we have 0 dB up to 100. And then our, base, our plot basically falls, our H2 falls down at the rate of 20 dB per decade. That's our H2, uh, plot of H2. Now, how about the angle of H2? The angle of H2, okay. so our angle expression was, minus 10 arctangent of omega over 100. So when omega is 100, omega, is 100, so 100 over 100 is 1, arctangent of 1 is 45, we have negative sign, so minus 45 degrees. When omega is 1000, 1000 divided by 100 is 10, arctangent of uh, 10 is approximately minus 90 degrees. Similarly of 10, omega equals 10, arctangent of 1 tenth is very close to 0 degrees. And if we do similar exercise, we'll find that the phase is are this as well. So if I draw that now on the phase for its two, what I get is zero degrees up until 10, 45 degrees Angle of H2. Now, what was H? H is basically a combination of these two guys. So, in the magnitude domain, log of these basically add up. So, the plot for the magnitude of H is just a summation of these two plots. So, if I take, uh, if I grab this plot right here, which is going up at 20 dB per decade, and this plot right here, and add them together. I end up with a new plot for a uh, new plot for H, which looks like up to that point it's rising because uh, H1 is rising and H2 is flat. After that point, H1 is rising up at 20 dB per decade and H2 is falling at 20 dB per decade. So I have a flat line for H. So that's my H. Similarly, for the angle, well, up to this point, 90 degrees and 0 degrees add up to 90. After that, I decline to here, and then I stay steady right here at 0 degrees. Now that is my angle for H. So here's my magnitude of H. And here is my angle for H.